The need to break out the boots. The familiar light on iconic views. The way the skyline slips from eyesight. And hot coffee breaks the chill. I'm just really glad to see it again. Seattle is a quintessential Seattle area. Seattle welcomed back the rain that's been elusive for a record-breaking 14 days. It's a feeling even King 5's senior meteorologist shares. I'll tell you personally, I mean, I was yelling at the sun this weekend, saying, go away. He says this year's La Nina prediction didn't rule out an unusual break from this view. So once we get on towards the end of December, again, is where we really expect to see the effects of La Nina kick in, where we would be seeing above normal precipitation, below normal temperatures. But you have to keep in mind that all that does is affect the odds of it happening. There's a lot of other factors out there we don't totally understand. It was a return to the November Seattleites know. As the last breaths of fall, well, it does look beautiful. I love it here. Turn into a winter still set to be wet. Now in Western Washington, we're not as worried about something like drought as you would be in Eastern Washington, but rainfall does contribute to lowering the risk for wildfires. This year, we did see the first two November wildfires in Western Washington in recent memory. Live in Seattle, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.